All right, our next guest is Andrew Muller from the Mappus Insurance. He's here to talk about the wide range of services and options offered by Mappus and uh, what makes them different from the other companies. Let's start off. Good, good to have you on the show, hey, by the way. Yes. So Let, let's uh, start off by saying what's the difference and what sets you guys apart, Mappus Insurance, from Allstate State Farm and all the other guys that are out there? Certainly. So this is one of the number one questions we get. And so we're an independent insurance agency, so we represent the client and we go out to multiple markets. Okay. So that's the number one mm -hmm. differentiator. So if you go to a state farm, they offer you one product. Sure. Take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. Where we sit down with the client, we'll get to understand their needs and their wants, and we'll go out to all of our markets, insurance mm -hmm. carriers, and build a program around that. Mm -hmm and bring them back options, not mm -hmm. just say, here you go. Are you similar to what a broker would be like then in some ways? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, when somebody comes and, and they want to uh, uh, insure their house, sometimes Highway 17, if you're on the west side or the east side, mm -hmm. your insurance, your hurricane coverage or something can be a big difference. And there's some sure. companies that won't even insure you. Do you guys do that? Yes. So all the big guys that you had mentioned, mm -hmm. the State Farms, USAAs, if you go to them today and mm -hmm. you live on the east side, so the ocean side of Highway 17, sure. specifically in Mount Pleasant, uh -huh. um, they're going, they can't write the wind and hail insurance. Okay. So they have to go to the wind and hail association and provide a separate wind and hail policy. Mm -hmm. These policies are literally the last resort options. Oh, wow. Uh, they're mm -hmm. very costly. Mm -hmm. Their coverage is are not the best mm -hmm. and they have higher deductibles mm -hmm. and so they're, they're literally the last resort option. If you go to the Wind and Hail Association's website, they will tell you we are the last resort option. Mm -hmm. But it's the only option that some of these insurance carriers can provide. Sure. At Mapis, we have at least 10 different carriers that will write <laughs> homeowners insurance with the Wind and Hail coverage. Uh, together as one package, mm -hmm. saving people sometimes 40 and 50 percent. You talked about deductibles a few moments ago. How can you save people money uh, by lowering their deductibles? I know that uh, uh, it, it, those sort of things can be rather confusing mm -hmm. to the guy off the street. So um, standard deductibles for wind and hail or hurricanes is typically on a percentage basis and a lot of people are finding that out after mm -hmm. Hurricane Matthew. So if you have a house that's insured for five hundred thousand okay. dollars and you have a 2% deductible for wind and hail, that's a $10,000 deductible. It's 2% mm -hmm. of 500,000. Mm -hmm. So you could have that type of policy. Meanwhile, your neighbor could have a policy that has a flat $2,500 deductible okay. for wind and hail events. Mm -hmm. So the savings, your premium might be the exact same, mm -hmm. but the savings is when you have a claim, your deductible is $2,500 mm -hmm. versus 10,000. So that's a $7,500 mm -hmm. savings when you actually have to file a claim. Yeah. So to per, kind of put that in perspective, if you had hail damage or you're on your roof or wind sure. damage and on a $500,000 house to replace that roof, the shingles and so forth, it may run $10,000. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So if your deductible is $10,000, you're paying $10,000. You have no dollars. claim. But with the $2,500 deductible, you would be get, only paying $2,500 and then the insurance would cover the $7,500. Absolutely. And that happened mm -hmm. uh, in my neighborhood. I insure, luckily, I get to insure my neighbors. Mm -hmm. And so that happened to my neighbor's house. He had a $2,500 deductible. Mm -hmm. tree fell on his roof. Mm -hmm. And so that was all he was responsible for. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the neighbor had the same thing happen. They didn't have their insurance kick in because they wow. didn't meet their deductible. Wow. I imagine they talked with you right after that happened. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> to, to, the to neighbor, get, I don't insure the neighbor. I'm going to, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that, that happens sometimes. Uh, what is a typical process when somebody's working with you? They want to come into the office. You've got mm -hmm. about eight folks that are in your office. Sure. Uh -huh. So, uh, again, we want to make it very personal. Mm -hmm. We don't want to just say, oh, here's a quote. Let us know if you want us to, to issue it. Mm -hmm. So we want to sit down, get to know the people, mm -hmm. get to know their specific risks mm -hmm. because they're different than your neighbors. Mm -hmm. And so then we want to build a program around that and then provide them with options. So it's a very personal touch and uh, we're not mm -hmm. going to send you off to some 800 number. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have questions, concerns, once you're a client, you call mm -hmm. our office, we are local mm -hmm. and we will Sometimes we'll, we will come to you if yeah. in certain situations. Mm -hmm. So, got a, just a couple of seconds sure. left. What's your ideal client? Oh man, ideal client is going to be uh, a family that has you know a house, mm -hmm. a couple cars, maybe a boat. Sure. Uh, they want they want to actually uh, work with an advisor and not just look for what the cheapest product is. Sure. Right. So, on. Andrew, always a pleasure. Mappus Insurance, are right here in Mount Pleasant. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us.